What? Roxy knows. Roxy! Penny! Well, today we're on the... Penny! Um, Horsby Street, I think it's called. To grab some marks. We're heading for Clock Willy. And, uh... Yeah. Unfortunately, Wait. the footpath signed for Clock Willy's rusted away or fell down, so we've parked in the main road and um, we're just going to take a left hand turn here, which is the footpath to the place. It's a cute little bridge. up somebody's drive. Don't park and drive, you cause yourself hassle. It's not far up actually. What does it mean, Carla? Huh? What does Clock Willie mean? <sighs> well, I, <laughs> I'm only keep remembering what we first researched, so I've forgotten. It's nothing to do with a penis. Well, ravine and then penis came up on my search, but what did you find? Well, the Manx version of it is Stony Fold, apparently. That was it, yes. Spelt slightly different to that spelt in the books. It's in volume two of Manx Thornton's book, page 51. It's spelt clack. Clack. Willie. But if you type it in on Google with W H I. Double L E Y. Yeah. It comes up with the other um, explanation. Yeah, folks, sort of things. But if you type it the other way, W I L L E Y, you get the obvious. So, which amused me a lot. So the road up to the start was very, very easy to do. It's <laughs> um, November. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Last few days of anyway, 2022. We've now got I think 60 odd videos on YouTube. You should go and check them out. It's all free, costs you nothing. And what we do costs you nothing either. So when you get up to the end of the tarmac. So this that this is a public footpath, obviously, not that way. So it's up this way. Yep. Instead of turning into the house, you carry on up the muddy track. I'm sure, that used, I'm sure it used to be a bit overgrown last time I came this way. I don't remember it being this wide. You no, know, last time I was up here, it was touching. Touching? There, yeah, the tops. You couldn't mm. walk up as easy as this. No, that's what I thought. Yeah. It, it was... Um, it definitely wasn't as wide as this. Unless I'm here. Uh, I think I a lot of the know. bikers use it, so that's why it's trimmed. Uh, There's two ways to come into this one. Go on. You can come in from the top, which, uh, what is that plantation called? Well, it must be Stony Mountain, Stony I guess. Stony Mountain, that's it. Which I think coming in from the top is a lot more interesting. But because there's lovely trees and paths. And when you come to the actual clock willy, it's just more magical, I think. Is it? This is the most simple way to come, but boggy. So you have to say this is the summer version. Me and Sammy came in from the top. Whew. To be fair, you could have drove up and just parked here. Oh you were there. panicking with me parking on the main road, and then up here. Miles you? away, miles away. When I first come to look for this, I went right, and I went walking all the way round, didn't find it. Well, if you went right, that would be the reason you didn't find it. No, because that that's Because there's me. nowhere near, is yeah. it? Yeah. So, second time I went, I went straight ahead.
as I said, the name Clackwilly means stony fold. It was the home of the Kermode family, a well known Manx farming family for many years. From the late 1800s to the middle 1900s. And um, most of the Kermode family married into the farming world. There's something I always like about doing this. What's so that? peaceful. What we're doing? Well, it is, isn't it? Absolutely. It's not a sound. It's lovely. Just in here, when you come up this road. In here? Just in here. Ooh. Walking over the mossy bits. Ooh. Ooh, wow. What's that? It's so, where um, a lot of old washing machines and tumble dryers and cookers are dumped many years ago. Somebody said it was Partington's, but I don't know whether that's true or not. Huh. Penny! Come over oh, here. You're going to hurt yourself. There's a cooker there. Yeah. On my neck. It's all dumped there a long time ago, judging by the moss on it anyway. So, so this path is actually really boggy, and that reminds me of what's in your book, Volume 2. Yeah. Uh, John Quaggan. Oh, yeah. Quaggan. Quaggan. 1869. Got lost in the bog coming up here. Oh, yeah. Going home. And he died from exposure. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? But a month before, his brother died in the croft. <laughs> yeah. And then a month after John had died, his sister died in a lunatic asylum. Right. Yeah. Roughly when was that? 1869. 1869. Before yeah. the Kermodes came here, I guess. And again, this one is free for you to visit. I think it's owned by the government. Pretty sure it is. Footpath goes right past it. <sighs> is it Kermodes, Cleggs and Collister? Yeah. All right here. Yeah, yeah. Should have brought some baubles. Christmas trees everywhere. Yeah, we've already got ours. Not up yet, though. Yes, no balls on it yet. There's about 50 acres this little place was. And there's three houses on it. So I guess who will tell you a bit about it. Ooh, uh, lovely. It's all built of the old uh, Stony Mountain quartz or granite. I'm not sure when this plantation would have been um, set up. I'm guessing in the 60s. When did they leave this property? Do you know? But, uh, late, well, certainly after the wars. Right. Was uh, one of the daughters was a Maisie Collister, and she married a John Collister from Shinvala Farm, it's just over the road here, which I've got a picture of. And he and one of her sons and I were best friends for many years. Oh wow, that's lovely, isn't it? What a bloody great tree! Some size in that tree girl, isn't it? And how old that is. It's amazing. It's lovely. Absolutely amazing. So we'll just go in with the old camera. If you're investigating these sort of places, it is best to do it this time of year when the vegetation died down a bit. You actually get an idea. What it was like. What you're passing now was the garden. Some post to an old gate. Hey! The uh, tree in the middle here is an ash tree, which we uh, would use the ash trees for, Carla. One away the spirits. Absolutely. Yeah. Where's my peg tree? Well, I don't need a peg tree around here, would you? Well, you would have done them, because these trees weren't here when this was farm. Wouldn't they? No. Hmm? This would be just farmland. Hmm? The forestry board took it over and planted the trees in it. 
So I said to you those three little houses, this is number one house here. Be the first one they lived in. And if you've ever, ever wondered whether something was lived in, if you ever see a sign like that at the back of the house or on the side, it's called a chalig, it's a chimney. We're always designed like that to take the smoke up. Got now at the top to suck it up. I have never been in this bit before. And you can see how long ago it was farmed because there's an old tractor tyre here. So it's certainly been farmed in the days of um, tractors as much as horses. Have you seen this? A little. Whoa, this must be um, like a barn or something, is it? Hey. Must be a barn or something. Look at that little door. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. Isn't it? Ah. Will that be um? I don't know, what will it be for really? Maybe pigs. Yeah. Piggery of some sort. Yeah. Or maybe goose holes. Three of those two of them, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I'll get the train, like I said. We may never meet again. So those two houses are on your way in. Oh, but the big beauties at the back. The real house. <laughs> I came here with Sammy Wright and we went round the back and there's this big branch and... Uh, I think if she was uh, wanting to you know, jump on it and swing, <laughs> she just took a big leap and the whole thing snapped, she fell to the floor. God, it was funny. And you were as sympathetic as usual? I was. I think you should do the same trick, actually. All oh, right. <laughs> really funny. Not going to happen. Ah. Oh. So it's a grand affair, this place, if you look at the way it's built. Upstairs. There was um, steps up to upstairs from here, so whether this was a house or a barn, I don't know. This place has kind of got a signature wall, it hasn't has, it? Yeah. The rusty wall. You'll know you're in the right place when you come here. Watch, there's a stone there. Okay. Funny, I always come back to these places and I've visited them dozens of times. I always find something I didn't see every time. What you it's, found? Ah, uh, I haven't found it yet, but <laughs> it's as if they always make you come back to see what you missed. So this is the house, I would think. Watch you don't, you don't watch you don't By fall. the porch, the outside there. She must have had a grand oven before it all fell in. Yep. I like the way you say she. Well, she is. But she had a nice apron as well. A house is a she. How do I have a house without a woman? That doesn't work. What? You need to have a woman with a house. Oh, yeah. You always make it a home. I'm trying to decide from this place whether this would be a house. I think it is a house, but then if you go through the doorway here and into the next place. It's got Yell. five places, you five places upstairs. Now I wonder did they actually have cows, cows below in the, uh, in the, in this little barn? And they slept upstairs where it'd be warmer. Because it's got some height. I mean, there'd be enough uh, floors there, enough height there for three floors, really. Hmm. Fortunately, the back wall is now long since gone. Going back to nature. The trees are taken over. Look at that 
that big um, wood there above the door. Yeah. Yeah, and a huge big wooden lintel. Doing a lot of work on supporting that wall. Again, like all the ones we come to, their days are numbered. So once that goes, the wall comes down and the water goes in and away you go. You just see the holes where the floor would have been for the beams for upstairs. I still leave it, anybody would leave this place really. I can only assume that the Forestry Board bought them out when they moved out or whatever. I said it was about 50 acres in this heyday. Okay. It's very slippy. Yeah, the old moss laden stones really catch it out, don't they? The bright orange berries on this little plant. Oh, it's cold, somebody will. Ow! Oh, Roxy! You're getting stuff in your hair. Come on. So when you come up here, don't rush. Pack some sandwiches and a flask. Make the day count. It's always good to bring cele celebratory butties. Yeah, so like celebrity butties. We've got our two left in the car. Uh -huh, our two. Oh look! I knew there was a little house here somewhere. A little teeny house thing. <laughs> you mean like a? Somebody's left you a replica of how it used to be. <laughs> it may have been. Yeah, right. And if you can see there, there was a doorway going out to the back there, which has been still walled up. And there's little shelves there for storing things in. Medicines and stuff from the old uh, Roxy. herbalist. <laughs> Roxy, you are a nightmare. <laughs> and another little hole in the corner. I love this yellow um Orange. I don't know what you what would you is it mold? It's like a no, I've never a seen kind of a, a moss. Yeah, I've orange seen, moss. Seen it in any other sort of um places we visit really. It isn't it to do with the stone? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh geez, that's slippy that one. Yeah, so as I say, if you're coming up here, just beware that it is very, mm -hmm. very slippery. And I'm trying to walk and vim, film at the same time. So, my excuse for the jerkiness is that anyway. Hear the wind whistling in the trees. It's very sheltered up here, though. You could probably come up here any day and not be uh, disturbed. So, Carla, what do you think of Clock Willie? Nice, quiet. Val Valley off the penis, wasn't it? <laughs> nice. I like it here. I try to imagine, um, you know, obviously what. What it would look like without, without the trees, without all this, how far would they have been seeing? Well, this? Be, over there, they'd be seeing right out past St. Mark's to the church, mm. and that way, they'd be looking out towards uh, Chabana, the plantation to the left of us, mm. and behind us would be Erie and Stony Mountain. So, I love that Stony Mountain, it's a lovely description of it, isn't it? Mm. There's something I like about here is this, and whenever we do visit these places, is the road in front of the house, yeah, when, when you always can still imagine and picture the road. Yeah, you can imagine going up with an old cart or something and stopping and coming in for a cup of tea, going. Yeah. There's a massive big house in this place. It is. And um, as I said, it's somewhere you could visit on any day and it'd be sheltered. You're never going to be cold. No, Roxy. But this time of year is the best time when the tree leaves are off. You can see more because the vegetation died down a bit. The colours are brilliant. Yeah, I was talking to one of the Kermode lads 
up in the village in Kirk Michael a few months ago and he's telling me the family history of here. Mm. And um, the Kermans lived in here for quite a few years. And then in, in the wars or after wars, you got so much for a rabbit. I don't know how much it was, a 10p, 15p, I don't know, it was quite a lot of money. Mm. And he was telling me that they managed to make enough money from selling rabbits. What they used to do, they'd, get, they'd go out all night on the rabbits with a dog and a light. Then they'd uh, dress the rabbits the next day and or overnight and then be put on the boat to Liverpool. Right. That's what they did with them all. And they, were, they made enough money to buy Tosby Farm in cash, right. which is next door. Oh, is it? Yeah. When you told me that before, and you said they paid it in rabbits, I actually thought you meant they turned up with a bag of rabbits. <laughs> so there you go, could have your house. I know. See, through, our minds are so different, really, aren't they? <laughs> minds, I think, is exaggerating that word. I was, I was picturing it in my head, like, gosh, that's a funny way to buy a house. But anyway, anything goes in my head. Yeah, it's funny thing with the Collister, one of the Collisters. Uh, Maisie's Collister, she married a Collister and she had a family of four. Did she have a family of four? Yes, she did, yeah. And uh, they all in the farm world, but two brothers, mm. Alfie and Chris, they used to go out on the rabbits through the winter months after this all happened. Mm. And they used to make enough money on the rabbits to buy themselves a new car each, every mm. year. They wow. made more on the rabbits than they ever earned from the father. <laughs> I love that the way things were back in the day. I love it. Fascinated. Uh, it was simple. I mean, I was thinking, talking to somebody the other day about you know, my life. I mean, I've come from 1950 to now. And uh, I mean, when I was born, we didn't have uh, electricity or water in the house or in toilet in the house. And we didn't have a bath for four or five years. So I have come from that world to where mm -hmm. we are today, which everything's on your phone. Mm -hmm. And, you know, kids can't imagine, imagine a world without a phone, can they? No, I know, yeah. Which is sad. <laughs> and if you come up here, folks, to this place, just absorb it. Don't run around and snap away. Just sit and think. These places are never dead. There's always essences here of what's happened. This feels like quite a nice place to me. It doesn't feel like tragedy except for the man who died in the bog. Yeah, well, um, and then his brother died. Yeah, but they were old people by the sound. They were 80s, like, they weren't young people. Right. And um, so get it on your list, folks. This weekend, nice weekend coming. You know where the footpath starts now. You know how to get here. Yeah, that's the easy track. Like that's I said, the there are track. two ways in, yeah. but that's the easiest, but the prettiest way is to come down from Stony Mountain. No. Off the Ballamotter Strait, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot longer. Yeah, but it's it's like getting a gift at the end when you find yeah. it. I've always said that. Yeah, we need to make the end the best bit. Yeah, take bring your butties. Definitely bring a, something to celebrate. Mm -hmm. I always. This is another path or another bit of a garden. You can always tell that because they've got the walls around about them. There's some uh, trees going up in here, but this would have been a vegetable patch, I'm sure, in its day. Another thing about this, the stone. See these big ones? Yeah, on the corner. It reminds me of Cronk Breck. Very similar yeah, there's the same, like the same stones came from the same place. Yeah. You'll find a lot of these places will be built the same way. You find that down south. Yeah. But the northern ones are different. That ones tend to be slate. That's granite in the corner. I've not seen a pegatry or oh, yeah. a thive. Or well, is it thive? I don't know. Thive egg. Oh, whatever. Look at that little hole there in the door. That's funny, isn't it? Yeah. You can put your shoes in there. <laughs> well, I find that strange because, as I said before, if you look at this, that looked like a fireplace in the upstairs room, and the, the stairs to the upside came through here, with the doorway at the top. I'm going to have a little look. I don't think it's going to fall just yet. No, you're all right. Ooh. Only I am. <laughs> Wow. It is just a cupboard. Yeah. Which is strange because it's outside the house. Gives me the heebie-jeebies sometimes. 
Water cave's gonna fall on you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> that's all right, that. Those glasses are knackered now. Because that's got stone <laughs> above it. You're all right on that one. <sighs> that's oh. a good wall, isn't it? Fantastic. So, do you know, it, it, it oh, rem, reminds me of extremely homely here. I don't know why. I said that to you. I like the, the essence of the place to me. Yeah, nice. it makes you feel... Wanted and, 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 and at, yeah, at ease. Happy. Yeah, Yeah, this wall you can see it in front of you there, but that goes the full length of where we walked up. Mm. Like all these walls are built by hand. Astonishing. There's a little bath in the corner here. Is there? As usual, we've got our faithful hounds with us. Hmm? I'm saying we've got our faithful hounds with us today again. Yes. Never far without them. Come on then, Penny. Feel free. Up you done. Huh? I thought she was limping then. Someone's got a paw stuck in the thing, doesn't she? <laughs> collar. Yeah. Oh, there's the bath. Bath night, Ray. I thought you said that was tonight. <laughs> Where's the bath? There. Cast iron bath. Nice oh, old fashioned yeah. bath. Fancy leaving it outside. It's a bit weird, isn't it? It's useful for watering the animals, wouldn't it? It's probably taking out of the house. Of course I knew that. Really? <laughs> you have to tell me about the rabbits and not to bleach you anymore. Well, yeah, <laughs> to be fair. I'll put your farm, I'll lift the rabbits on the drive for you. <laughs> I just, I do love my imagination sometimes. I, love your imagination. I don't know how I get through the days. I, I really love your don't. imagination, but when you explain to somebody else, they look at you as if, you what? The gate? Yeah. I didn't miss it. That's one of the original gates from this farm. Lovely. And that would have been in front of this here opening. That's what it's for. In there? Yeah. You said that was a house. Yeah, but they turned it into a barn of some sort, haven't they? Well, when they wouldn't moved this out gate of it. be on here? Uh, it's too narrow for that, I think. Mm. We're just going to go walk up the uh, track a little bit here. So this is the other path in that Carl was talking about. It's a much prettier path. But it's longer you come off the, uh, I don't know really, but the Ballamore straight footpath area. It's not as muddy, there's a lot longer to get here. But it's, uh, it's a pretty, pretty path. And the dogs and the kids will love it. And there's your prize. When you see the big tree, you, you know, know you're, you're there. Here. I, think it's a, I think it is an ash tree. Yeah. Either or a beech tree. And the gorse is still out in flower. So that's our visit to Clack Willie. Or is it Clack Willie? Clack Willie. Clack. Yeah, that cra. <laughs> you're right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it'd be forever known now when I was the valley of the penis. Yeah. can't say that. I've just said it. On the rocks. Moving on the edge. Absolutely. That was nice that one. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Yes, Clock Willie, really, thank you. What an enjoyable visit. I've been back here quite a few times over the years. I always enjoy the place. The thing with these places are your imagination can do what it wants. So there you are folks, that was the, the Clock Willie experience. On the way back to the car, can't decide now whether to have a cup of tea. I'll drink tea till it comes out of my ears. Yeah. Have you ever 
seen Frozen? Have I ever seen it frozen? No, the film Frozen. No. Uh, because there's a part in the film where there's like mothballs. They roll out into little dwarf things. I can't remember what they're called now. But it always reminds me of them. I always wait for them to roll into this human thing. Sort of take off like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's another part of my mind. Welcome. Yeah, well, I, you know, unfortunately, to be honest with you, I did understand that one. <laughs> I didn't understand the rabbits, but they do. Rabbits.